Now I will show you the second notebook. Here, how you install the Ray RLib. I also see you install Jim here. Then you import appropriate packages. Mostly you import Ray, then Jim. Here you have training, you have a config and a few other functions. This config is for online training of PPO algorithm. Online means that you have a simulation of your environment. You will have a live assault game and your agent will interact with it online. As opposite, offline means that you have a trajectories exported. They are frozen. You just go through the exported data set. Online means you interact with a live environment or a simulation of environment. In our case, we don't need a simulation of environment. We can interact with the game itself because it's a perfect plugin in any algorithm. So we instantiate this trainer object. The trainer object has configuration. Remember, I showed you the configuration earlier. This was example of a configuration. Then we do scaling. Scaling is a preparation of agent. We can do some particular data transformations there. We also set up how much workers are we going to use and whether we use GPUs or, or anything else and the rest of parameters. Then we pass a type of algorithm that we wanted to use and then the rest of the configuration parameters like what kind of environment uh, and what kind of framework we are going to work with. Then we instantiate tuner and these are callbacks. For example, here for this trainer, we add creating a checkpoint at the end. You also can do early stopping checkpoints every epoch, whatever you find useful. And then we feed tuner with given callbacks. Here is another function for evaluation. It uses particular uh, checkpoint and a particular number of episodes to evaluate our RL predictor. So after the training, the returned result will be an instance of a class RL predictor. And here we instantiate our predictor from train before checkpoint. And we create our environment. Remember, this is the same environment that was in configuration. And then we collect rewards on the go. And then for a given number of episodes that we set here, we do the following. First, we reset the environment to get the first state. Then we zero the reward, put down episode trigger to false. And until the end of episode, see, while not done, we do the following. We use our trained agent as a policy. And PRA are observations. They are observations and we use observations to predict actions. Our predictor, our agent is by fact policy. This policy predicts optimal actions. We hope that they are optimal. We will know only after the validation. These actions then are passed to the environment on every step we're receiving another observation, reward, marker of whether the episode was completed and diagnostic information. Here, we add up the total reward. See, we're adding reward by reward. And uh, after this action, we will get a reward for every episode. This is a cumulative reward for episode. And here, we're adding it to the list so that we know track of all the rewards of all the episodes. And then we know how agent performs in um, different episodes. These were declarations. Now let's train something. Here we call our function to train agent online. See, we pass number of workers. We don't use GPU. We also have a dashboard diagnostic where everything is uh, displayed, the training. And then we have a, a results of a training. See, number of iteration, final reward, a maximum and minimum episode reward and episode length average. If we skip all of that, here are our configuration of a trainer. If you may notice, we omitted a lot of parameters and left them default. That's fine because usually the default works for us. Here are all stats, all lengths of all episodes. You can notice that they are slightly increasing with time, which shows us that agent is progressing. For each episode, see the rewards and lengths of episodes, they become larger and larger as well as rewards. It means that policy improves and our algorithm is becoming better. See, here we're easily getting 200. 200 is the top score that could be achieved in this game. Then we evaluate the algorithm with train optimal agent that shows best results across three episodes that we tested it on. I hope you saw that it was easy. There are not much code and not much things that you have to understand.